So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing extremely well. And this is a very on Mars code as you said. And I have brought to you the 15th Mars GFG POTD that is linked list that is sorted alternatingly. So without wasting any further time, let's see how does we solve the problem and what does the question say. So suppose you have a sorted uh, array type of thing like you have the sorted numbers, right? You have been given a linked list. The linked list follows the pattern as shown. Suppose it is the smallest number here. So the first node will be 1. After that, 10. After that, again, 2. After that, 9. After that, 3. After that, 8. After that, 4. And this is your whole linked list, right? This is your whole linked list. This has been given to you as input. And the output the question demands is a sorted linked list. That is, your linked list should look like 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 9, 10. That is the number should be in this order only. Right? So I hope you are familiar with the input and output now. So let us move to the approaches. Right? That is why you are here, right? You are here to listen to the approaches. Right? So approach 1. Approach one says you have to give me the sorted linked list, right? You have to give me the sorted linked list. So what you will do, you will traverse this linked list. You will traverse this linked list, store the numbers in an array. Then the numbers become 1, 10, 2, 9, 3, 8, 4, right? Sort this array. The array becomes 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 9, 10. Yes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 9, 10, right? And then make a new linked list. Or fill the elements of this linked list with 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 9, 10, right? So what is the time complexity use? Time complexity will be O of n log n, right? You will need O of n time to traverse. O of n log n time to sort. And O of n time to fill the linked list again, right? Okay. And what is the space complexity? Space complexity will be O of n to use an array, right? Okay. This is almost efficient, but I can say that I will do it in less time and less space complexity right how can i do it now so my approach to says i will not use an array but i will sort the linked list using any type like i can use merge sort or quick sort so my time complexity for both of these will be o of n log n right and my square space complexity is o of one so it is not the optimized approach but in terms of space complexity it is an efficient approach right is an efficient approach now, if this is not an optimized approach, then what is the optimized approach? So I say you have been given 1, 10, 2, 9, 3, 8, 4, right? Okay. So if you focus, then this part is the initial part. The index is, uh, if they were in an array, what, are, what would their indexes be? It will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? Okay, no problem till now. Now, this part, 10, 9, 8. Let me write it down separately. So, 10, 9, 8. Is this any relation with 8, 9, 10? Yes. What is the relation? I say that if I reverse this, 8, 9, 10. Are they both matching? Yes, they both are matching. So, that is my approach. What, will, what is my approach is that I will split this linked list into two parts. Let me write the linked list again. My linked list is 1, 10, 2, 9, 8, 3, 4. Yes, this is my linked list. Oh, 9, 3, 8, 4. This is my linked list, right? This is my linked list. What I will do is I will convert two linked lists. I will use in place only, like uh, in place means that I will not use any extra space. I will just split the nodes. So my linked list will become 1, 2, 3, 4. That is all the E1 indices. E1 indices. Right? And my another linked list will become 10, 9, 8. Right? And also this will be pointing to null. And this will be pointing to null. After that, I will reverse it and this will become 8. 9 10 null right and then i will merge this node let me use your change the ink this node with this node and it will become 1 
टू थ्री फोर एट नाइन टेन राइट वन एंड दिस विल बी नाइन इज इट माई डिजायर आंसर इज इट माई डिजायर आंसर यू कैन सी वन टू थ्री फोर एट नाइन टेन वन टू थ्री फोर एट नाइन टेन ओके सो वी हैव सॉर्टेड इट राइट वी हैव सॉर्टेड इट कम्प्लीटली एंड अ टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी नाउ अ टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी नाउ सो इट विल रिक्वायर ओ ऑफ एंड टाइम टू स्प्लिट राइट ओ ऑफ एंड वाई टू टाइम टू रिवर्स दैट इज इक्वल टू ओ ऑफ एंड ओनली राइट एंड ओ ऑफ वन टाइम टू मोर n time to merge n by 2 in the sense why n by 2 because i will have to traverse this link list to reach this here right right or i can store it somewhere else but i prefer it traversing because the time complexity will remain same time complexity will be o of n did i use any express space no so o of 1 so which one is the most efficient up to now this is a optimized approach and this is the most efficient one right okay so let us see what we have done where our steps are and then we will follow the code a steps are Split, that is, split the linked list according to indices, right? Like indices as in even or. Second step is reverse the part with. or indices right with the nodes containing or indices third merge the two uh link list again merge the two halves you can see merge the two halves right this is my all step right we have discussed this code thoroughly and now now it's time to code right so today there has been some discrepancy from the back end you will have to do one extra step you can see that node is de uh, defined here initially and they have in a here also defined it again so we will have to comment it down right this should be commented down and then it will run fine right the first step should be to comment down the code right okay so let us now start the coding right so for here i will make two nodes node star 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 right node node star a head a head will be even in dice z and node star d head right this will be the or indices head now you can see it is given as star star that is why i have made star and star here okay now our first step was to split the link list right and i will have to send my head i will send my head as a pointer and i will send my addresses of a head and my address of d head right after that our second step was to reverse the or indices so which will be containing or indices d head so i will reverse d head only right and the third step was to update our head as the merge list right merge operation will be called on a head and d head right so we will look all these three functions that is split list reverse and merge right and this is n, right okay now first focus on split list right our first operation is split list so you can see it is not returning anything so void split list right it is taking node uh, star head node star star a head node star star d head uh, if you are not understanding why star and why star star this is a thing of pointers so to understand this statements you will have to clear your concepts of pointers till now so i am giving you a rough idea so you can you can see we have been given a star star head that is a uh, pointer to pointer head right and we have sent only the pointer head okay and here it is achieving a pointer head only right now this is sending the address of the head address of the pointer head so we have to use double star to uh, calculate that right and similarly for d head so if not able to understand please watch some videos about the pointers and then you will get the concepts to be clear and if you are not able to understand then also tell me i will try to explain in the comment section right a head equals to new node 0 you will say that we are creating a new node that is we are taking uh, extra space no i will say that these are the dummy nodes and i am taking only constant extra space so that will be o of 1 only so no need these are the dummy nodes right because i will have to initialize a head and d heads with something right now to traverse a head i will make an asc and i'll assign it as a head only star a head and node star dsc and that is for descending that is for ordinary dice it will be taking d head and my node star current 
that is used for the traversal of the original nucleus that will contain my head right now while current now even indices even indices is 0 1 2 so 0 will occur first right so i will have to lose ascn as first so ascn next equals to cur cur becomes curs next ascn becomes ascn next right this is a simple traversal technique to just join the head and i think that you're familiar with it if not again the request is same comment down now dscn will only get updated that that is the d head that is the on dices list will only get updated if i have cur now if cur is null then it will give a segmentation false so i will check if cur is present then do, then do the step so dscn next same steps that were do, uh, done for ascn just replace that for dscn equals to cur cur equals to cur next dscn equals to dscn next right okay the loop will done and now ascn next will have to be pointed to null why because ascn last next is uh, also pointed to dscn right some of the link list right so first my ascn was here second my ascn was here so third my ascn was here so it's uh, like ascn comes here three and three is pointing to seven so i will have to make it null right for proper functioning now dscn next is also null so we have completely successfully uh split into the link list now to eliminate the concept of dummy head i will return not return i will make the a head uh, a head as star a head next and d head d head next right so this will not disturb me anymore the dummy nodes will not disturb me and then return to mark the ending of the function right a second function was to reverse and that is pretty basic lead code easy question to reverse and list what we will do we will just write the code for reverse right so void reverse it is taking it is taking d head and d head is a pointer here so i will have to send it by reference i will have to send it by reference so node and star head now the original growing previous equals to null right star cur equals to head right and my star next now while cur what does happen so next equals to curs next right curs next equals to prev and now prev becomes equals to cur and cur becomes equals to next right okay now head equals to prev that is change the head pointer why head pointer because we are sending it by reference so my d head has become the reverse like right? uh, like my d head was initially uh, 7 8 9 so my d head was initially at uh, 9 now my d head has come to 7 right and now the third and last operation to merge to merge right so we will write in the code to merge before i add the code to merge i will request you to subscribe to my channel if you're new here and if you're liking the video please don't forget to like right so merge i have defined the function as merge only and i've sent the pointer so node star head one node star head two now what do we do if my head one is null return head two if my head two is null return head one simple base cases right now what if those of them are not null so traverse the first head till last and then join the answer with it so node star temp equals to head one because you have sent the even indices first now we will traverse until the tail is reached so while temps next is not equals to null what do we do we make temp equals to temp next right okay now at last we join the tail with the head of the odd indices and uh, head temp next becomes head two and then we return temp right this should work fine let's try to compile it on it hope i'm not committing any typing mistakes right and oh there has been some mistake error cannot declare pointer to struct node in reverse right oh it is st not star headed it as this is a, a simple typing mistake of switching the values 
so running fine for comparison let's try to submit also now hope it will work and it is working fine i guess and you can see a 91 day streak hope you like the video please share your views in the comment section and we'll meet tomorrow with a new energy and a new question till then keep coding and have a nice day thank you